Hello friends, this is Abhishek Bendre. Welcome to the fifth tutorial of Phone Gap 3. For today's tutorial, we are going to see how we can handle the Phone Gap events. I have a list of events which are which we are going to handle like device ready, pause, resume, menu button, search button, volume, sorry. We cannot handle this because uh, we have to test it on device. Okay. But still, uh, I'll show you the code. Okay. Uh, here I'm creating a new project. If you don't know how to create a new project, you can watch my existing videos like tutorial number 3 or 4. Okay. Uh, for creating a new project, we have to open a Node.js command prompt. This is my directory name event demo. This is my package name. And this is our project. Sorry. Yeah, project directory is created. Add a plot form. And after build your project. Okay, it's done. Now we are mm, before that. I'm deleting this. This is my existing project. Okay, now I am importing our new project. Oops. File new project. Existing code. Browse. Computer. C drive. Event demo. Platforms and Android. Okay. Uncheck these two projects. Okay, our project is successfully imported to Eclipse. After that, we will open the index.html from asset folder. Text edit. I will move this code to head section and remove the index.js because I don't need it. Okay. This is our codeover.js which is located in ww folder okay now here i am writing our events this is my code section okay first of all we are going to use device ready okay so just attach event to our document so i am using document dot add event listener your event name now callback function that is our on device ready and third parameter should be false after that I'm creating a callback function called on device ready and I'm giving an alert so we can identify the on device ready event is fired just run this application we have to wait see 
our project is installed and our event is fired on device ready okay now our second event is pause this will execute when our application is put into the background mode like whenever we press a home button our applications will be put in to the pause mode so I am handling my event call pause alert device is in background mode and uh, one more event that is resume resume now we are running it again okay our device ready event is fired and our two events were registered called pause and resume okay now I'm pressing a home button uh, and whenever I get our applications back to foreground mode I got a two alert I will got a two alert one for uh, pause and one for resume see I think you can see you have see uh, that alert now I mean restoring to foreground device is in background mode for the pause and uh, this is the second for, for our foreground okay after that menu button and search button I hope you guys know about menu button and search button on uh, Android device here I am registering my event menu button and search button okay the code is over just check it out whether it's running or not uh, 
on device ready event ok I am pressing search button you have pressed the search button and uh, for menu you have pressed the menu button ok after that we have volume down button and volume up button but I think this is not supported for Android version but let's still check it out volume down button Let's check. We have a volume down button. No alert. Okay, that means it is not working for Android device. I think it's work for BlackBerry device. If you want to check it, check it out. Just write a code for BlackBerry. Just run this applications on BlackBerry device or create it in for like BlackBerry whatever ID is provided by for creating a BlackBerry applications. I hope you guys have understood understood all these things thank you so much for watching this videos watch my next videos as well this is Abhishek Bindre signing out thank you bye